everybody, Matt Brown here, and we're going to do Mrs. Butterworth by Nirvana. So another real simple one, this one's just uh, uh, really two, three riffs to talk about again. So this one's in standard tuning, and uh, um, what I was just playing was the main riff, or the intro riff that he's playing. So uh, that's what we'll talk about first. So we're in the key of E minor here, and the main riff is just kind of a fast punk rock type metal lead type thing. Um, all you're doing is playing your, your open E and palm muting it, playing an E note on your fourth string of the second fret, not palm muted, uh, and then what you're going to do is this six, two sixteenth note to eighth note figure. figure. So that's five three open with pull offs. So. Um, the way that I like to finger this is to do the, the first E note with the first finger and then sort of slide the, the third finger over um, to do a pull out between the third finger and first finger. You can do this with the pinky finger and second finger. Uh, I was noticing though that my, my hand was getting tired after playing that riff over and over and over again. So using stronger fingers uh, will help with the endurance. Okay, so um, real slowly what we have is that. Uh, then we're going to do two palm muted low E notes. And then we're going to play a B flat 5 chord with an F in the bass. So that is 1-1-3 one, one, three on your three lowest strings. So... That is the riff real slowly there. So when he starts singing, he simplifies the riff a little bit, um, and I'm guessing for two reasons, to make it easier to play, and so um, that what he's playing isn't you know getting in the way of the vocals as much. So what he's doing is, instead of doing two E's at the beginning of the riff, he goes um, two palm muted notes, so a low E to a low G, and the G's played at your third fret. And then the rest of the riff is exactly the same. All right, so um, that takes care of pretty much all of the song except for the chorus. So it's, since um, he's coming from this chord, uh, at the end of the verse, the chorus goes like this. chords that we're, we're going to use, we're going to use an E5, three strings, open 2-2 two, two as far as the frets go, and then you're going to come up to a D5, um, this is a fifth string root, so 5-7-7, seven, seven. Uh, the next chord is A5, so 5-7-7, seven, seven, six string root, and then you're sliding up a fret for a B flat 5. The next time though when he repeats the riff, the E5 is played like that. So it's an E5 with uh, a B in the bass, and so that's seven seven nine nine, um, and it just you know it, switching it up to that chord gives the the chorus a little bit more of a punch um, to play this chord in the upper octave the rest of the time. All right, so that that does it for uh, Mrs. Butterworth. Uh, the song ends with the main riff there. <laughs> just ends with an E5 power chord like that. So yeah, real simple. Um, not exactly the easiest song to play on the left hand though, so that might take some practice. So maybe, you know, my, my advice with this kind of thing is always to just start with the metronome um, and, you know, maybe start at 80 beats per minute and work it all the way up and make sure that you keep those, those pull-offs really tight. So uh, anyway, um, yeah, email me if you'd like the tabs or uh, need some extra help. And uh, I will see you guys around for some more lessons. All right, thanks a lot.